Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Vanessa this is Nessa CX Beauty and today we're gonna be doing part two of the Wet n Wild Wild Crush collection. Yesterday I did review the Be Mine Honey eyeshadow palette so if you do want to see this review and comparison to the Colourpop Aha uh -huh Honey palette that'll be up here carded right there but today we're gonna be reviewing and swatching the brand new wet n wild in love with coco palette this is the palette right here features nine shades and retails for five dollars as well supposed to be coco scented however it is very reminiscent of the scent in the coffee cat palette they smell almost identical if not the same so just to let you know this one does have a stronger scent than the honey one but we're gonna head into the swatches use her on the eyes so if you're interested in seeing that just continue watching all right so just like the be mine honey palette this does not come with shade names it just comes with numbers on the back one through nine so we're gonna head off into number one Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. And last but not least, number nine. All right, y'all. So these are the swatches of the entire In Love With Coco eyeshadow palette. And these swatches are pretty impressive. The shimmers look beautiful. The mattes look very opaque. And I'm ready to use this on the eyes. So we're going to head into the eyeshadow look. So to start off, I already have my eyes primed with my Sigma Primer in Ignite. And now we're going to head into shade number two with my Morphe M513. And we're going to place this on the outermost portion of our eye, blend this into our crease, and blow this out. This is the lightest matte in this palette. And now we're going to head into shades seven and eight with my What's Up Beauty R104 brush. And we're just going to put this on the outer V and blend this into shade number two so we don't have any harsh lines this just added some depth and now i am cutting my crease with my sigma eye base in ignite just painting that on wanted to show you the first one on camera the second one off and now we're gonna head into these shimmers heading into shade number six with my sigma e60 brush i'm putting that on the outermost portion of the lid following up with the same brush heading into number three and putting that on the inner portion of the lid and blending that into shade number six but I still felt like this look needed a little bit more depth. So I went in with my What's Up Beauty 104 brush into the shade 9. And just added this into the outer V. And it did add some depth to the eye look. But this is how we are looking. I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face off of camera. And I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. The face is complete. And I did go into shade number eight with my Luxie angled brush for my lower lash line. Kept it very simple. But this is how we are looking. And y'all, I am a fan of this palette. It's a very simple brown palette, but it's $5, y'all. I think it's worth it because the quality is there. And the look that I created is so similar to a look that I can create with my Natasha Denona bronze palette. I'm actually going to bring her out. So, I feel like whenever I use this eyeshadow palette, the bronze by Natasha Denona, I end up getting around the same look every time I use it. So, I think this is like a very condensed version of this eyeshadow palette. And I am actually a fan. And it is literally $5. So... I say if you are interested in the In Love With Coco eyeshadow palette, I definitely do recommend it. And I recommend it over the Wet n Wild Coffee Cap palette. Some of these shades were hits and misses in terms of the shimmers. But in terms of these, the In Love and Coco, none of these shades were a miss. All of them are very good. All of them are great quality. So I think you're getting a good deal with this eyeshadow palette. And... 
it's crazy because I think I like the In Love With Coco eyeshadow palette more than the Be Mine Honey. And I'm all about yellow eyeshadow, so it speaks to how good this one is. And that is all I have for y'all today. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Let me know if y'all picked up anything from the Wild Crush collection.